Hello everyone, catching up now with News Roundup number 159. Um, there won't be a slow version of this as it would take me too long to catch up on everything I've missed so far. So here we go. The Guardian tells us that a London Underground zombie poster ad is to be replaced. The ad was for the Generation of Z Apocalypse, an event where soldiers help the audience to survive a zombie experience. It used an image of zombie head with sunken eyes and blood-stained teeth, but the Advertising Standards Authority received complaints that the poster ads were unsuitable to run in the underground as they could be seen by children. The ASA said, while we considered that the sinister image of the zombie would not cause distress to older children and adults, it could distress younger children. It may take some believing, but the Daily Mirror has run a story claiming that according to Brits, the Lancashire seaside resort of Blackpool has the best beach in the world. A study carried out by Post Office Money put Blackpool, which is famous for its spectacular illuminations, Kiss Me Quick hats and donkey rides, ahead of Benidorm and Mallorca. OK, I wouldn't actually necessarily disagree with them. The trouble is you don't get the weather. Getting a good night's sleep is very important for most people. But according to a poll carried out for a bed company, tens of thousands of Britons are sleeping on mattresses that are over 40 years old. The Daily Mail reports that around 8 million mattresses in the UK are in need of replacement. Just 1 in 12 of those surveyed said they always wake up refreshed and 1 in 20 struggles to get 5 hours of shut eye a night. 5% have kept their mattresses for 15 years and tens of thousands have not been mattress shopping since before 1975. Another survey outlined in the Daily Mail shows that British men cannot live without television. The survey revealed that the majority of men, 40%, chose their televisions as the most important thing in their life and the top answer for women, 49%, was their toothbrush. Other things men could not live without included alcohol, 25%, their car, 33%, and their laptop, 30%. And women rated shampoo, 45%, friends, 36%, a cup of tea, 34%, and a good book, 33%, as the most vital ingredients. Good old gender difference, eh? Police officers in Wandsworth, South London, had to be especially alert when they were called to King George's Park, says the Daily Express, for they had been told that a five-foot carpet python was on the prowl. According to tweets from Superintendent Steve Wallace, three officers snared the slippery customer using a secure bag. The animal was then taken to Putney Animal Hospital and is now being cared for at South Essex Wildlife Hospital. Good news in the Guardian for those who like their food extra hot. The Komodo dragon, described as the UK's hottest ever commercially grown chilli pepper, has gone on sale for the first time in a supermarket. Tesco chilli pepper buyer Eleanor Mansell is quoted as saying, in recent years, we've had the fearsome Dorset Naga, the searing Butt Jalokia, and the mouth-numbing Trinidad Scorpion, but they all pale in comparison with the UK's latest commercially grown chilli pepper, the mighty Komodo Dragon, which puts the others in the shade. Oh dear, I love chilli, but I just can't eat it anymore. It gives me terrible indigestion. And the thought of something even hotter than anything I've tried in the past is, I'm not sure whether I would like it. Having children can be very expensive if you believe a story in The Independent, which says that parents spend almost £3,000 on their child's first year of school. And over the course of a child's education, £60,000 is spent, excluding school fees, on food, technology, childcare, transport and extracurricular activities. 
I can well believe it. A 350 year old gun carriage from a 17th century shipwreck has been recovered from the Thames estuary, says the Daily Mirror. Historic England, working with a team of amateur divers, lifted the five foot two inch wooden carriage, which had been covered in silt 60 feet under water since the London warship exploded and sank in 1665. Archaeologist Alison James said, The London is the only ship of its kind surviving on the seabed. It really is a time capsule. OK, so that's the end of that one. I hope you enjoyed listening to it. Take care. Bye bye.